So this bunion of mine has gotten me looking into more wider toe boots and this is what I found. These are moon boots. Now they were first made popular by Hailey Bieber in a Victoria's Secret campaign and I mean you don't wear this with lingerie, but it is to showcase what a big statement it can make. And to me, these look like ski snowboarding boots. Okay, maybe more like snowboarding boots because there's a bit more flexibility. Ski boots are just one solid thing, so you don't twist an ankle or anything. But I understand why they're called moon boots because these are the boots that astronauts wear to go up into space. These are just a little bit more stylish. Now these boots are made from a nylon polyester fabric so it repels water but it's not waterproof. I got the black to test out with outfits because I'm thinking it could be more versatile with a bit of shine but let's put them on first. Now the sizing of these shoes are in ranges. They don't sell individual sizes but they sell a size range because the inside of the shoe is actually memory foam and it expands to your feet which work out for my bunion on my right foot. So these are actually a size 36 to 38 and I'm usually an EU 38 or a US 7 and a half with my bunion on my right foot. They also don't have a designated right or left foot. So if you take a look, this is right foot, but it looks exactly like the left foot, right? There's no way of telling which one is which. I don't actually like that because memory foam molds to your feet specifically over time. So if this one's for my left foot, then I always have to somehow remember it's a left foot. So maybe I gotta like tie something different to tell myself, but I feel like they should at least have R or an L on either side. Now that I have them on my feet, they do feel very tight. And I know I do have to wear them for a little, little bit longer to see if they'll be comfortable. They feel like they could be comfortable, but I feel my bunion doesn't fit quite right because their toes are curling in at the top right here. I feel this boot is also pushing down, especially when I'm walking. Like my left foot, it feels so comfortable just walking in these. But if I jump in them, I mean, I don't feel like I'm jumping on the moon or anything. And then with tiptoe, my tiptoe test is mostly to test if I bend my feet right here, if it will hurt the top. And it is pushing in to the top. And again, I know I do have to wear them a little bit longer and I will come back to tell you if they have molded to my feet after a long time, so we'll see. Now the chunky vibe of this boot does look like the platform mini Uggs that I tried on a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below or above, but let's style these boots and see what works with them. Now, because these boots are so chunky, it's best to balance with bare legs, but not just wearing Victoria's Secret underwear or anything. Thing, but with a mini skirt. Now I have a pleated mini skirt or a leather mini skirt. I think they both look really nice. Which one would you prefer? And then the other thing is a legging outfit. You know, if I just put a bomber jacket on and then the legging and then the big puffy boots, I find that there's more of a balance, like a big, small, big, puffy, skinny, puffy type idea. It does look really cute. Now I wonder if these boots look good with jeans and a Sherpa jacket because the moon boots are so different like a completely different texture. So when I'm wearing these, I think it looks, I mean, it could pass. It's a cute look, it works. The Sherpa jacket is a little bit more of a statement itself. So I feel like the Sherpa jacket is competing with the boots, but the jeans is, the jeans make the look a little bit more subtle. I think if you paired it with maybe a suede jacket, that would look a little bit better too. Okay, so to you, it's only been maybe a few minutes or several minutes, but to me, I've worn these shoes for a couple of hours now, and I can feel that they are starting to mold to my feet. But my right bunion foot still feels cramped, like there just isn't enough space for it. So. The way to put it is my left foot feels like I'm sleeping on a memory foam bed and it's just so comfortable, but my right foot feels like I'm cramming myself in a crib. Still on a memory foam bed, but it just doesn't fit. So I think this boot is great for trendy purposes, but for trendy and bunion purposes, not so much. But there is one bonus. 
this boot, if you drive a manual car, will work with the clutch. I read in the reviews, I didn't actually try it myself, that you can lift your heel and put it back down without it being impossible. Like some of the Timberland boots or even my Air Jordans, I can't drive manual in them. I actually have to change out of my shoes to drive my car because of how thick the back of the heel is. This one is thick too, but for some reason, you can lift and put it back down. So that's a bonus if you like that. Now, for all seriousness, if you see a little face in the bottom of this screen, please press it. There's a subscribe button right there because if you like these videos, I wanna do them more for you. Like this video as well, and I will see you over there. Goodbye for now.